I'm going to uh, share my experience with uh, VS Code snippets, which is uh, used to do extraordinary logging, I would say. And uh, in my opinion, it's a very useful snippet to work with. This is the file we uh, we need to make it. Uh, we need to make for uh, using using the VS Code snippets in the dot VS Code file. If you don't have this VS Code folder, then uh, you can make it manually, in a, and the, uh, this will be sync automatically to the VS Code. So uh, this there, is there. There is a VS Code command to create a snippet, and that will automatically create the file. That's that's what we used last time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then uh, in this snippet, we can modify it uh, as per our requirement, like. Uh, we can add a scope for uh, languages here i am using javascript and typescript and uh, there is a prefix which uh, which is log that means if i am just typing log here then it should uh, give me suggestions maybe not in this file it will be uh, i'll get the suggestion in javascript and typescript files and there is a body and uh, we can see this thing in body and uh, we will get uh, something similar uh, similar uh, while while logging and we will get to that very soon and there is a description log output to console which will be displayed in uh, suggestions now quick demo for that okay so this is the back end code we also have that uh, in the front end code this is the same file uh, let's see. And, uh, okay, yeah. So this is uh, this is the JavaScript code. Everything is written in JavaScript and React hooks. Now, if I want to print log to the console, so the ba so the basic way is we need to uh, write console dot log, and if we want to write something something here then this is the normal way to do that and we can uh, print something uh, uh, i mean any variables or values like if i'm printing this value so this is the very basic way but with the vs code snippet uh, if we uh, if we want to improve this logging style then i will just uh, type log and i would uh, there is tons of suggestions and I can see the first log is print to console. Uh, second one is uh, log to the console. So if we look and, uh, into our file, uh, we can see there is a log output to console. So uh, log, log output to console is a description and the print to console is a, is a key of our object. So if I just... Uh, select the first suggestion sprint to console it would give some uh, uh, information by default like uh, the first first parameter will be name of the file which is index.js the second argument uh, i mean the second detail is the line number which is 270 and uh, we can uh, while uh, while entering on the first suggestions, we will get two cursors by default. So if we are uh, just uh, just suppose that the page count on pagination, which is on line number 266, if I want to log it, then I would just uh, write it here. So uh, value of uh, value of this variable is already here, and we can see it as a as a string as well so uh, this thing i mean vs code uh, log uh, log snippet is very hel helpful for uh, debugging uh, with uh, with so much information like uh, file name line number and some additional information which uh, which we want and uh, there are so many uh, there are so much others uh, other things which we can uh, uh, which we can include in the body so uh, let me just give you walkthrough for the body. So in here, the, uh, under the console log, the first uh, first argument we can see is uh, uh, dollar sign pm underscore file name, which will uh, basically print out the name of the file. There is a uh, backslash t, which means the tab space. 
So there will be a test test, something like here. And uh, the second argument is uh, dollar sign uh, tm underscore line underscore number, which will print uh, line number. Basically, there is a tab space uh, once again, and uh, this dollar one means the blank space. So if we have this one dollar uh, one uh, argument here and one more dollar one argument here, then we will we will have two cursor at the moment by default. If I add one more here, uh, and I would like to add two tab spaces. And let's see how the next uh, console is looking like. See if I now I'm going to use this. So you can see if uh, uh, after after adding one more um, one more dollar sign with uh, uh, string one, I would be I'm able to write it for three times. So this is uh, so that's basically a uh, uh, cursors, uh, I, uh, we can say, and uh, that that's a value too. And uh, the other thing, if I want to add a new line with uh, with every console log, then I can uh, add dollar sign two, and uh, it would uh, it would automatically have one uh, one new line after every console log. So this is uh, this is how this snippet is working, and there are so much uh, other informations too, which we can uh, add here and modify the snippet as per our requirements. Did you do a demo combining this statistics, this snippet, with the multi cursor? Because I think that's where the line number is really powerful. Yeah. So sorry, what? I, do you remember the other day we did a multi cursor selection of all the semicolons? All the semicolons. And then we used the snippet? Uh, yes. Do you want to do a demo of that? Uh, yeah, I would like to, but I'm not sure uh, if I'm going to find curse, uh, semicolons. So many, I mean, so much semicolons on this file. Uh, I mean, uh, let's let's have a look on the file which we use for demons demonstration. Uh, not variant is Firebase .js. Yes, this one file. This one. Okay, <laughs> it it's already having so many logs. Mm, let me... Yeah, can you can you just delete them and then uh, we'll recreate them? Sure, sure. Does, does everybody know how to use multi-cursor in VS Code to select? See how Pavan's quickly selecting all of the console.logs without doing a search and replace? OK, so let me also show. So, uh, sorry, I know how to do multi-cursor by pressing the middle button. Uh, and I think Alt-click or something. Yeah, so if you use Control D or Command D, Command D it yes. will select the next occurrence of the thing that you already have selected. So Pavan will show you by selecting semicolon and then pressing Command D. Mm, yeah. So if I want to add logs uh, at so many places, and uh, I don't, I don't want to write each single logs on my own, then uh, VS Code has one more facility, which is uh, multi selections. Uh, if I want to add logs at uh, multiple places. And and uh, just suppose I want to add log after every uh, every line which have semicolon, then I would select every semicolons in this file <coughs> just uh, just from uh, just I need to select the semicolon and I can press uh, Command D, so it will automatically select next uh, next semicolon of this file. So you can see here I can. I am able to I am able to select every semicolons here. <clears throat> so just just to give some background, the the error that was happening was that um, this is inside a try catch block, and the catch block was being executed, but we didn't know which line was triggering it um, because the stack trace didn't have a line from this file for some reason. Um, and then the exception didn't have anything to do with anything that was going on in this file. 
So we, we really didn't know which line of code was triggering it. So that's, that's why we did this. We added a log on every line to print the line number. And then we could see, oh, this is the last line number before the exception. Yeah, so this was very useful to trace a bug uh, in the code. So I have selected almost uh, every semicolons and uh, if I navigate uh, through uh, arrow keys from my keyboard, so I can see uh, there are multiple cursors which we selected uh, via uh, semicolons. So if I press enter, then I would have, I would be in new line at every places which we selected. Now I want to add log at a, all of these lines. So if I am writing log, and uh, okay we get a suggestions and uh, enter so here you can see we uh, we have log at every places with uh, with the file uh, file name and uh, and the line number which is also dynamic so this is very useful thing for debugging and uh, we can also log some values like uh, settings if i want to add settings here i can do that and i can print as a string here so this is how vs code multi-selection and uh, console log snippet works does anybody have any questions okay then i guess we're done yeah. all right well one more thing i want to mention is if you do decide to use this trick where you're selecting every semicolon and putting something there Mm -hmm. That doesn't work if you have a if else statement without curly braces, because the say the else will come after two semicolons and then it doesn't make sense and will give you a syntax error. So, just as a good practice, you should always use curly braces in your if else blocks because you never know when you're going to need to add an extra line. Hey dear, if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and turning on notifications so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you.